everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making green chilaquiles. We're going to be making enough for six to eight servings. So I'm going to use 20 tortillas and I'm going to cut them into fours like this. And once they're all cut, we're going to add about half a cup of oil to a large skillet. Now we're gonna add our tortillas. I'm only gonna add a little bit at a time, enough to cover the bottom of the skillet. I do it this way because it makes it so much easier to flip them when they're done frying on one side. While these are frying, I'm gonna retrieve a bowl and line it with a clean paper towel. Then when these are done, we're gonna remove them and place them into the bowl. That way the excess oil can soak off into the towel. And once they're lightly toasted like this, we're gonna remove them, place them in the bowl, and continue with the rest of the tortillas until we're all done. And now that they're all done, we're gonna prepare the sauce. I'm gonna use about 10 small tomatillos, five serrano peppers, a fourth of a white onion, two large garlic cloves, and a good handful of cilantro. And once they're nice and washed, we're gonna add two cups of water into the blender. Now we're gonna add our cilantro, our onion, our garlic, and our jalapenos and our tomatillos. Now we're gonna seal it up and we're gonna blend it until it's nice and smooth. In the same skillet that we used to fry the tortillas, we're gonna add in the sauce. We're gonna turn it on to medium heat. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. And a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna stir. And once it comes to a simmer, we're gonna let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And at this point, you can taste it. And if it needs more seasoning, you can add more if you wish. It's been about 15 minutes now and it looks like our sauce is now ready. It has a light thickness to it. So now we're gonna add the tortillas and we're gonna spread them out, make sure they're evenly coated. And once we're done, we're gonna remove it from the burner. We're gonna cover it and now it's ready to serve. You can serve with your favorite side dishes. I usually serve mine with a couple of eggs, some avocado and top them off with some queso fresco and sour cream and a little bit of minced onion. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you would like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, share with your friends and family and don't forget to leave a comment at the end. Thank you so much for watching.